Inflation Reduction Act. Wow, that says a lot. There's um, $360 billion being used for um, climate control, which is very interesting because I still see they're doing the um, carbon tax. Yes. Do you know that if you capture a ton of carbon tax, you can get paid for it? Carbon tax, CO2, carbon tax, CO2, yeah. You're going to get paid for it. And if, okay, that's, you can make dry ice out of it, okay? You capture it, make dry ice, sell it to a beverage company, make more money, okay? Um, yes, yes, okay, because um, CO2 or dry cleaning uh, establishments that use the CO2 to clean that stuff. Or um, if you can get it underground, you know, if you're sitting at a coal burning plant and you can take all the CO2 that's being exhausted out of the smokestacks and put that in the ground where you're standing. And because um, that's what you're going to have to do. Well, we're going to pipe it somewhere. CO2 is a corrosive element. You know, it, it is an acid. Well, an acid, more or less. And um, and you're going to put it in the ground. The Ch Chinese do that. They they um, next to a factory, they capture the CO2 off of it. And they stick it in the ground right there. And if the area where they want to say for oil wells, you know, they take this. Methane, stick it back in the ground. And then, of course, the next, next day, they drill for it and they, oh, we got a methane. <laughs> but, yes, I've always, they, they used to do is, um, you know, you make um, carbon tax dollars. Uh, they used to do is go out and plant trees to capture the CO2. And they would pay farmers uh, to capture the CO2 in their plants. Okay. Well, uh, last year, uh, those farmers who used to capture CO2 in plants and that, 530,000 acres weren't planted in California last year because of the drought. X number acres last year in California went up in smoke. Climate change. But big industries, they say, well, if you capture the CO2 you're releasing and you put that into sequestered that stuff underground, you're going to get a, a carbon tax dollars for it. I, as far as I know, anybody who ever, actually ever made money in the pack is the person that control the carbon tax. Now, the guy comes in here and saying, I've got, oh, I can sell you carbon tax dollars for the CO2 you're producing. But the industries will still do it. The coal burning plants will still produce the CO2. The in industry will still produce the CO2. And telling me that they're going to capture it but they still would produce the CO2. Um, hopefully, uh, if things like DuPont will put in a nuclear, small nuclear power plant, make a white nuclear power plant on their industrial sites to eliminate the production of CO2. Yes, yes. Hopefully, by the end of this century, there'll be thousands of these small, self-contained, gas-cooled, nuclear power plants running around where they no longer burn diesel fuel that will help. Of course, it really is too late because we already hit 400 parts per million. Surprise. But, uh, yeah, there all that all that money out there and everything. The, of course, the Republicans never went for it. They didn't sign anything as usual. Oh, it's spending too much money. Well, you have, what, what's your solution to this? You ask a Republican, how do you stop CO2 being produced? I don't know. We don't figure it out in the future. Yeah, stick it. 
But again, um, I, I thank uh, Joe Biden for getting it passed for the Democrats who really believe something in this plan and have their own little, well, I always let this to me. Well, God will save us. Oh, yeah? Yes. God will save us. God will make the oceans clean. God will make the atmosphere clean. God will do this and God will do that. Are you telling me, monkey, that you, a son of God, you can't do anything? Oh, wow. Well, I guess not, but um, at least the Democrat, at least Joe Biden got, a, got something done to help the planet. And the Republicans are sitting there. I shouldn't say that about the Republicans. I'm a Republican. Yeah. Not this voting election, I'm not. I'm not voting for Republicans. Mm. Trumpism. You vote a Republican, you're voting for Trumpism. Oh, I almost disagree with the president about what his wording on Trump. Trump isn't a better word. 